Good morning, folks. If you didn't know the Mars landing is tonight, you may have clicked this video by accident. Hello there. Watch if you must, but they already know what they're planning to tell you. Argentina took a 5.0 quake yesterday, a sandstorm blanketed Kuwait. In India, towns and people by the dozen disappeared during these deluge and flash floods. A moderate quake hit between Antarctica and South Africa, and a mass fish die-off happened in Arkansas. Coming down a bit, you see the trailing Atlantic storm, now named Florence, predicted to go north slightly. They must expect this high pressure, the red, to move on soon because it would otherwise keep it south, moving into the Caribbean. Pulling up the hurricane tracker, we have hope that Florence will miss and go north, but Ernesto is firmly tracking on course to be a potential problem next week. In case you missed this last night, eyes on the plasma filament. A six hour long duration flare event created just enough instability to set this baby off. The eruption was beautiful and it gives us a chance to play trust your eyes, not the experts. Their model has the CME too close to call. Maybe a glancing blow to earth, maybe not. But the satellite imagery, while showing most of the ejecta missing to that one side, does show the eruption on the right as well. If that eruption pumped out ejecta that way, there is some coming at us as well. But that's not the real headline. Imagine you blew up a bomb and when the smoke cleared, the bomb was still sitting there. The danger hasn't really changed, this filament could pop off again, but the treasure is the visual splendor of our star. Can't believe that filament re-emerged. Lots of bright active regions around that filament. NOAA has labeled the leading spot Beta Gamma, which is accurate as we first take a look at the sunspots to get a feel for where they are, then switching on the magnetics. Beta Gamma for sure up front with the polarities intertwined and mixed, but these active regions have been quiet in terms of flare intensity. Mars, Saturn, and Spica form a triangle in the evening sky. They can join August 14th, and 10 days later, a potentially significant opposition where Earth comes between the Sun and Neptune. I suppose I'll have some help watching this undead filament today. If so, make sure you're watching the GOES X-ray flux at Space Weather as well. That's the news, folks. Be safe.